Hi, I'm Bill Griffith, an application engineer with Agile Technologies. I'd like to do a short tutorial on thermocouples today and talk a little bit about how they work. With me, I have a J-type thermocouple. It's one of the common types of thermocouples. Each of the different types of thermocouples are good for different temperature ranges and different applications. They're individually color-coded, so you can determine what type of thermocouple you're using. One of the interesting things about a thermocouple is it actually creates a voltage based on the temperature difference from one end to the other, or what's known as the temperature gradient across the thermocouple. So in order to determine the absolute temperature at the end of our thermocouple, we need to have a temperature reference. So on our data logger cards, we have a built-in temperature reference. So there's a temperature sensor that measures this temperature, and we can measure the voltage of our thermocouple and determine the temperature gradient across the thermocouple. And if we add those two temperatures together, then we can determine the temperature at the end of our thermocouple. So CBEC observed that in a wire, when it's exposed to a temperature gradient, that actually creates a voltage that's proportional to that temperature gradient. He um, then determined that it's different for every type of metal. And so our thermocouple is actually made up of two different types of metal. And what we rely on is the difference in voltage that's created when they're both exposed to the same temperature gradient. So to further illustrate this point, if this thermocouple was made up of the same type of wire, we'd end up with two voltages that were equal and opposite, and so we wouldn't have a differential. So it really relies on having the two different types of metal. In addition, the relationship between voltage and temperature is complex. So we can either use a complex polynomial or use tables to look up the voltage to temperature conversion. Lastly, when you add the thermocouple to the temperature reference, you actually introduce a third type of metal and two more dissimilar metal connections. But since the data logger knows the temperature at that point and it knows the type of metals that are being connected, it can actually back out that air. The 34972 and 34970 use what's called a universal channel. So we can connect our temperature sensor to any channel and then from the front panel we can select the type of temperature sensor we're using and its built-in algorithms will calculate the temperature at the end of our temperature device. This particular thermocouple, along with the screwdriver, came with our 34972, so it makes it really easy to set up and start making thermocouple measurements with the 34972. If you'd like to learn more about temperature measurements, check out our application note 290 for lots of information on making temperature measurements. Thanks for watching.